Hey guys, Chris from Hockey Tutorial here, and today in this video we're going to be taking a look at a custom pair of ASV Pro Skates from CCM and VSing them against a retail pair of the same skate. What we're going to be doing is essentially taking a trip back in time to Sweden where I spec this skate out where you can see the difference between what you get from retail, what you get from Total Custom and then the upgrade from that which is Total Custom Plus, which is essentially completely building a skate up from scratch. We're going to be showing you the entire order process, all of the options that you get when you go custom and also what the most significant benefits are. And of course at the end of this video, myself and Tommy are going to be giving you feedback on what the custom pair of skates is like on the ice vs the retail pair of skates. Let's jump in. And of course, really quickly before we jump into the video, comment down below and let me know if you prefer the look of my ASV Pro Custom Skates or if you prefer the look of Tommy's. I'll lay on some B-roll so you can see what he's looked like, but comment down below and let me know which ones you think look the best. Okay, Chris, so now your scan is done. Now we're gonna choose the skate uh, for you. And you have different options here. Number one is to go, I know that you want the Tax AS5 Pro Skate, Number one is to go with the retail version or now we have did, done your scan and we're going to change the mold so it's going to be perfectly suited for you. You have the first option which, which is total custom. You have uh, specs you can change, you can change the color, you can personalize your skate. And there's also an option called total custom plus where you have a bigger menu of spec changes. But we're going to walk through both of these and see which one would be the, uh, with the best for you and the choice for, for your skating. Perfect. So we start, I know that you want the AS5 Pro Skate. So now we're gonna decide the uh, colors of your AS5 Pro Skate. Perfect. So for color zone one, which is gold today, mm -hmm. what would you like to have? Uh, zone one, I'm gonna go with uh, orange, please. Orange, and as you know, you have 10 options in each color zone. So you have a lot of possibilities, but we go with orange. And then you have color zone two. For that, I'm gonna go with red, please. Perfect. And now we have the design on the screen here and we can spin around and you can see the skate from, from every angle. So this is how your skate will look like when it's done already. That looks pretty sick. Uh, yeah, it looks amazing. So you also have the possibility to add the number on your boot. Is that something you want to do? Yeah, for sure. I'm going to model it after PK Subban. Uh, oh, that's yeah. the reason I'm 76. We're going to add number 76 in the back of the skate. It's not shown in this video, but it's going to be in the back, in the heel area, just underneath the uh, the tendon guard uh, of the skate. Awesome. Uh, skate size. I'm going to go with uh, eight. I don't really have any issues with the sizing of the skate, so I'll stick with what I would go with if it was a retail pair of skates. Yeah, yeah, that's good. And just for you to know, you have the possibility to do quarter sizing. Every quarter size is two millimeters. You can go eight, eight and a quarter, eight and a half, eight, three quarters, up to nine. So in each size, whatever you want. But for now, we do eight. I think next time I'll probably do that because my right foot is a little smaller than my left. Yeah. So I could drop down maybe uh, a quarter size with, with my right. Yeah. So you have a lot of options and uh, whatever size you're in, uh, it's possible. Awesome. And then I want to fit you. Now we did your scan, but mm -hmm. I want to get as close to the reality as possible. So when it comes to fit, are you more of a tapered fit, regular fit or a wide fit as a base? I think for a base, definitely regular. Yep, regular is, is chosen. We, we start there. And then we're going to choose type of fit. And since you have your ankle bone issue, I'm going to do 3D scan fit for you. So you're going to get the skate molded for your foot. Uh, then you have the possibility to change the volume and here you can do uh, forward facing it's called so quarter of an inch you can adjust and add some volume to the skate if you want to are you happy with the retail skate when it comes to volume or do you want to change it uh, with the volume is it possible to see um, what that looks like in terms of what area you're changing on the skate you are changing the skate so this is the facing so you're adding a quarter of an inch to the entire boot cut uh, of the skate so it, you will have more volume uh, stepping into the skate. That's unreal. Yeah, and how to, how to know when you slip down your foot in the skate, the skate is unlaced. You can actually see where your ankle bones is, is positioned and when you lace the skate, that you have a decent and nice lacing pattern that looks good. So then you know that you have the right uh, volume of your skate. So essentially if my foot isn't resting in the ankle bone pocket area of the skate, I can change the volume to make sure that it does. Yes, and also the lacing pattern. So if you're seeing that the, that the lacing pattern is um, um, 
too wide, like mm -hmm. you, you can't get the, the correct wrap that you're after, yeah. you might want to need uh, or might want to add some extra volume as well. Got you, thank you. I think for that I'm, I'm probably okay, I don't really experience any issues there, so I'd go no. with uh, just the standard. Yes, we go regular. And then toe cap, you can choose regular or oversized the toe cap. Definitely regular please. Yes. All done. So now you have the, the scan is done, the design of your skate is done, the design of the boot is done. We move on to tongue options and for the total custom program you have four different tongues. So you have a metatomic, a 7mm felt tongue, which is uh, asymmetrical uh, shape. You have a pro felt tongue which is 10mm thick. And you have a lightweight tongue that is 4mm thick. And then you actually have the retail tongue from AS5 Pro, uh, which is uh, included uh, with the D3O uh, lace bite protection. So you have four options uh, on your skate to choose. Okay, if I wasn't to choose any of those, are we able to go into more options later? Is that a possibility? Yes, for the Total Custom Plus program, you have uh, an additional uh, seven or eight tongues to choose from. So, yes. Okay, I thought I'll hold off for that then. Okay. If you would have chosen one of the four here, you can choose name and number, of course. So 76, and I write Chris for now, just so you can see how it looks uh, on the skate when awesome. you when you uh, when you choose a different name, number, or tongue. Can you change the color of the the stuff I put on the tongue? Yes. So if I go from metatomic seven millimeter white felt tongue, I, if I press pro tongue, it turns and switch to the black one. Epic. Uh, then the next option is steel. So we have step black steel or step steel. Black steel, please. Black steel. And then hold the runner size. I know now that the size 8 is 271 in length, so I'm going to choose 271. Uh, there is a possibility to engrave your runner, but that comes with an upcharge. I'd definitely like to engrave it though. Yeah, okay. Yeah, with the, the company name, Hockey Tutorial, please. Yeah, okay. We will do Hockey Tutorial. Here you go. Last but not least, lacing or laces. Do you want waxed lace or, or uh, uh, cotton lace? I know Tommy's going to complain, but always cotton for me. Okay. I, I can't stand wax laces. No, but it's good. It's, it's some good flex into the cotton laces, so it's not, it's not a, a bad choice. Yeah, I, think I find the wax one's too stiff. Yeah. So now everything is done for your custom, your total custom AS5 Pro Skate, which is going to look amazing with your red and orange colors and your 76 back on the boot, your, your tongue of choice. But I know now that you are anxious to get into the Total Custom Plus menu and options of CCM Custom Skates. Before that, I just want to show you the summary. So this is your recipe of your skate, player profile, and an order recap with, the, with all the specs that we have been talking about. Mm -hmm. Also, the foot, the picture of your foot, where we actually highlight your inside ankle bone. So the factory will push out extra and adjust your mold so that your ankle bone will, will fit perfectly into your skate. Perfect. And then the skate build up uh, just by, uh, with some pictures. So the AS5 Pro Skate, your tongue, your lace and your uh, choice for uh, runner. Excellent. Good. Now when we look at the um, Total Custom versus Total Custom Plus. Yes. Um, what would be kind of like the, the need to go from Total Custom to Total Custom Plus? So. As you mentioned before, if you want to choose uh, a different tongue, you have more options of tongues. You can adjust the boot cut pretty much however you want. You can, you can increase the, the volume, you can decrease the volume, which is not possible at Total Custom. Uh, you can change the liner, you can change the ankle foam specs, Jeez. you can change the boot cut, you can change the boot height, uh, you can change uh, the reinforcement of the boot in specific areas. Uh, areas or the entire boot. So there's a lot of options really. It's a, it's a totally different program and you have a lot of options to choose from. Is it okay if we go through that? Yeah, of course. So I'm just going to quickly change to Total Custom Menu. Total Custom Plus Menu, sorry. So now your specs is saved into this scanner even though we're switching from Total Custom to Total Custom Plus. So it'll keep the same color scheme. Yeah, and so you have your uh, orange and red skate, 76 on the boot, size 8, regular, 3D scan fit. And now you can do some fit adjustments. So 
left boot cut, if you want to change the boot cut, you have a regular boot cut, like the retail skate. You can decrease the volume or you can do a cut back facing, meaning that you're cutting back uh, the boot by a quarter of an inch. You can increase the volume by a quarter of an inch or half an inch. And then you can choose the specific area of, of volume change. So the entire boot or just the top three eyelets or the, or the lower portion of the boot. And of course, maybe you want the outside different versus the inside of the boot. You can do that as well. So, so you can you make it asymmetrical if I want to? Yes, asymmetrical shape or uh, boot cut. You can just change the facing of the, of the inside um, um, uh, top three eyelets if you want or outside it's up to you so it's a complete skate reconstruction yes it is okay so that's the difference it's you're building a skate from scratch with custom total custom plus versus total custom yes so you have more a lot more options uh, when it comes to everything basically but this is this is big so you can really change the the entire structure uh, the the boot settings uh, when we talk about volume facing and uh, yeah also stiffness of course got you so for you, Chris, do you want to change anything with the facings or volume, or are you happy with the with the skate as it is? I'm I'm happy with it as it is. I think probably what I'd like to do is make the skate asymmetrical, if that is if that's doable. Yep. I'd, but aside from that, the the volume and the and the height, um, rather the height rather is, is is perfect for myself. Yep. So then in the menu, you can't choose inside only in the menu like asymmetrical facing i'm going to add it in the comment box in the end so that's my way to communicate with the factory so i'm going to highlight that so i'm going to press now in this menu forward quarter of an inch and just ankle but in the comment box i will specify inside only perfect good toe cap i know you don't want oversized i know that you want the regular yeah that's right so i'm going to keep that what we can do here, you know that we have the, the excess tongue system where you easily can switch your tongue. Yep. There is an option for Total Custom Plus to remove the excess tongue system or keep it. It's up to you. I think I'd probably like to keep it. Yes. Good choice. Then you have the possibility to change the tongue if this one is wear, uh, wear down uh, in the end. Then we're going to move to boot options. So here, next level, not so much about the volume but other specs of your boot so number one is boot height um, you have the retail skate uh, that comes to a certain height if you want to copy this height you need to increase the, the boot height by three millimeters to mimic the, the, the retail height because Total Custom Plus is using different materials so it looks a little bit different so that's why we need to increase the, the boot height by at least three millimeters to be at the retail level okay I'll, I'll definitely do that yep it's a good choice so we do uh, it's called enhanced comfort pad three millimeters then we're going to talk about the liner so here uh, you have some options with liner so you have clarino you have total drive pro uh, and yeah basically you have clarino in two different colors so it's it's black and light gray or uh, total drive pro uh, which is a very popular uh, uh, pro spec. I'll go with the pro spec. I don't. I don't deserve it, but I'll go no, with no, the pro no. spec. No, no, but it it looks looks great, uh, especially if we're gonna change the ankle form later. You're really gonna see the uh, the shape of the ankle form. It's uh, pro spec. It's all black. Uh, looks great in the skate. Yeah, I definitely want to change the foams inside. Yeah, and that's the next thing: ankle pads. So here, you have a menu of regular, so you can keep your retail ankle form. You can add some ankle foam so number one is to add a donut so there's a it's it's a circle and it's cut out as a donut so it's gonna really uh, fold around your your ankle bone in a very nice way uh, and give you more comfort in the skate and number three you have a thick ankle pad which is um, some extra uh, thickness to uh, an ankle pad but without the donut shape of the ankle pad I feel like from what I've seen, the donut's going to be the move to go for because it looks like it's going to be the most comfortable. Yep, we go, uh, sorry, we go donut ankle pad. And then you have an option of adding some comfort foam uh, in the forefoot of the skate. It's a, it's a two millimeter comfort foam. 
if I don't tell you, you're probably not going to notice it, but it's a, it's a nice add-on and it's a nice feature to, to just add in the skate. If we're going for total cost and plus, why not? Yeah. Will that affect the weight of the skate or will it No, still... it's so small, it's not that much material, so, uh, so I would say no. Perfect. Uh, we, you, you also have an old feature that was, that was uh, doable in a couple of years ago, lace lock from the old rib core pump yeah. skates. <laughs> I'm, I, I appreciated it in the, yeah, uh, the but, pumps, but I'm okay. Yeah, you have the possibility, but we, we take them away or we don't add them. Eyelet reinforcement, you can do keep it as it is. You can reinforce the top three eyelets or all the eyelets. No, 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 I'll leave that, but thank you. Yeah, okay, we, uh, we do like this. I don't think I'll skate hard enough to need that. Yeah, and then insole. So there's a regular insole and then our, our uh, orthomove insole where you actually can adjust your uh, arch support. So here I'm going to put orthomove because it's going to give you a, a better experience uh, with your skate. Sounds good. Then we come to stiffness options. So you have, with the AS5 Pro in tax, a carbon reinforced boot and boot construction. So you already have a stiff skate. So mm -hmm. I don't think that you need to stiffen up this gate that much, to be honest. No, that's fine. But you have the possibilities to, uh, to reinforce uh, the skate. If it's forefoot, ankle, tendon guard. Tendon guard we're going to come back to. Uh, but eyelets uh, or the entire, entire skate, basically. So you have a, a lot of options in different sections of the boot. Fantastic. But AS5 Pro comes with a flexible tendon guard. So you can touch and feel the retail skate and feel the flex of that tendon guard. What you can do is to add some stiffness to this. So you have the regular flexible tendon guard. If you want it still flexible, but a little bit stiffer, you can go stiff or you can go choose another tendon guard, which is, which is uh, super stiff and not flexible at all. I'll go with a flexible tendon for sure. Yep. And I'm going to choose regular. So same flexion as the retail skate. Yeah, that works for me. Good. Now we're done with the boot options. So design, everything you want to change with the boot, everything is, is done and ready. We're gonna jump into tongue selections. So you have the, what we call the prefabricated tongues that we are using for the total custom program. So the four that you are familiar with, the metatomic seven millimeter asymmetrical shape, the pro black felt 10 millimeter, the lightweight 4mm and the D3O protective one from the retail skate. Mm -hmm. But in the Total Custom Plus program, you have an additional uh, eight tongues that you can choose from. So I have the menu on the screen. It's a Pro Flat HPE, Pro Ribbed HPE, HD 652, Pro EVA from the time of the 50k rib core skate. Oh, no way. Uh, the, uh, the 9k, the Pro Lightweight. Uh, with a plastic lace bite protection, so that's the difference versus the Pro Lightweight in Total Custom Plus versus Total Custom. And the 70k tongue, that was a popular uh, tongue back in the days. So I do you have any, and there is one more that is not on the screen and that's called K-Pro. Uh, this is a tongue that was born uh, in the NHL, so a popular spec. It's uh, The shape is an asymmetrical um, or the lace bite shape is the asymmetrical tongue with that lace bite protection. Seven millimeter filled but a bit stiffer and a straight shape with a black inside. The t that tongue looks amazing. I think it will also probably help with slippage so that kind of sounds like a, the option I'd want to go for. I'll go with the off the books yeah, tongue option. So for now I have to write it in the comment box. So we're gonna go with the, with the K-Pro tongue for you. Uh, on the tongue uh, any specific personalization that you need, you can uh, now for Total Custom Plus, you will get the embroidery instead of the print that you get in Total Custom program. So you can do uh, name or number in, in colors. You have you you can't do as many letters as in the Total Custom program, but you can do. Uh, I mean, if you want number seventy six or or Chris, we can do it. Yeah, that's perfect. I'll go with the number seventy six. Do Do you get any options with? the color that the embroidery is in? Uh, there are colors here. So basically what you do, you design the, the entire tongue. So you do, uh, you choose tongue uh, model, felt color, felt thickness. So, but your tongue of choice, you only have one option. So you're gonna get a white um, pro felt tongue, K 
K Pro uh, with the uh, with the black inside and the black uh, forward side, of course. Okay, that sounds fine. So number seventy six in what color? Uh, red, please. So it red is the side of the skate. Now red was not in the menu, but uh, I'm gonna add it in the uh, in the comment box. It's not a not an issue here. Awesome. We move to steel, and we already did it in the total custom program. So uh, step black steel with the hockey tutorial engraving. Yes, please. Good. Lace. I know that you love the cotton lace, so I'm gonna keep that from the total custom uh, uh, menu. Then we come to uh, to recap and order. So now I'm gonna just give the factory some additional information. So I'm gonna write okay tutorial. You want one pair, and then I will just highlight a few keywords and some key specs to the factory that we couldn't choose or uh, in the in the menus here. So. Number one, it's going to be 3D scan. Number two, please push out extra for inside ankle bone right foot. See attached image. So now with this, the factory is is, uh, is aware of those comments, so they know exactly what to do uh, with this process. And it's been around for a couple of years now, so it's working extremely well. Perfect. Then three tongue. Uh, um, Tongue embroidery in red. Uh, then we're gonna highlight your uh, asymmetrical uh, facing. So I'm gonna highlight quarter of an inch forward facing, inside only. Left and right skate. So, I think we're good to go with your skate. We have everything uh, dialed into the scanner, and just by pushing the bottom now, uh, order, your skate should be in the books. And what's the lead time roughly for me to go from ordering to actually having the skates and getting ready to skate? Uh, so lead time uh, could be, uh, I would say, between five to seven weeks, depending on time of year, etc., uh, etc. Et uh, but uh, five to seven weeks uh, should cover it. Fantastic. Excited. Thank you so much. Thank you. And just uh, before, I'm just going to show you uh, what we have done now. So you have all the specs. Uh, I've added some comments. You have your player profile, order recap, so you can now see all the details and all the specs that we have changed. Uh, moving uh, through the entire menu, and also you can see the picture that we took of your foot, that it actually comes with the, with the order to the factory. Fantastic. Great. Thank you so much, I'm looking forward to getting them. Thank you. Now something I've got to mention is when we look at retail versus custom, in no way am I saying that this isn't a good skate. It's just when you go custom, of course, there are going to be numerous upgrades that you get. Now the main upgrade or the main difference with a custom pair of ASV Pro skates versus a retail pair, aside from the most obvious one which is going to be the design of the skate, being able to select exactly what colours you want, what number you want, you've seen all of that in the video, but the biggest difference is going to be the fact that this skate is constructed around a 3D mould of your foot. What that means when you're on the ice is that, or even when you put the skate on straight out of the box, the first thing you notice is the fit. It is gonna be, without a doubt, the most comfortable skate you've ever put on because it's built around a mold of your foot. That's gonna be what you notice on the ice. There's no pressure points, there's no sore spots, there's no discomfort, there's no break in time. It's just a perfect fitting skate. From there, it's gonna be the different changes that you make. When you look at the liners, can you feel that on the ice? I went with a donut shaped um, foam inside the liners and it's definitely something that you can feel. It hugs your ankle bone and it's incredibly comfortable, incredibly padded, vs what you experience and feel in a retail pair of skates. 
in addition to that, because I went for that NHL spec tongue that I really don't deserve, that wasn't even on the list of options with Total Custom and Total Custom Plus, this tongue is, it looks quite thin, but it has a lot of foam padding, which means it's incredibly protective if you're blocking shots or even when you're striding and you have your laces done up quite high or quite tight, you don't experience any discomfort whatsoever in the front of your foot. I'm on the ice a lot, especially when we're filming videos. Sometimes we can be on the ice for six hours straight. And when I'm in these skates, you don't notice the time going by. It's like being in a pair of street shoes or trainers or sneakers, whatever you call them based on what country you're in. But that's gonna be the, the main difference. Now, I didn't really change the stiffness of the skate. So I'll hand over to Tommy who made different changes to his custom pair of skates and he can go into what he experienced on the ice. But if you're trying to figure out what the main points between a retail pair and a custom pair of skates is, so it's just gonna be a case of the level of comfort you experience in the skate and also the level of protection it also gives you. Those are the two main things, but of course, comfort on the ice is gonna be one of the most important things. Something else I wanted to touch on is also, of course, gonna be the look of the skates. The custom pair of skates go for a more kind of like blacked out look in terms of the ankle padding. The liners themselves don't have any of that fancy artwork that you see on the retail pair of skates, if I spin it around this way. Um, the neck of the skate where you have the comfort pad isn't as kind of like glossy or pretty. It's more of a matte black, kind of pro look, which is what the pro players favor. So you have a couple of subtle differences in terms of the cosmetics of the skate, in terms of the internals and also the neck of the skate. Uh, but aside from that, of course, you have the biggest advantage of all is being able to select exactly how you want the boot to look, which is, I guess, for some people gonna be super important. So the main difference from custom to retail has to be the comfort and the stiffness, especially for my boot, because I made my boot stiffer than say a regular pair of boots. And I don't know if you can see it if I quickly just tilt these towards you. If you can see on the inside of these boots, you might be able to see that there's a lot more foam and thickness on the inside and the interior of my boot than there is on the retail boot. Because I've made extra padding on the inside around my ankles, a little bit more like the, um, the Ribcore 100Ks. I don't know if anyone's had a pair of those or owned a pair of those or even had a look at those. The thickness around the ankle is ridiculous compared to a normal pair of skates. And that's what I wanted in my boots and I got to do that and put that inside a pair of ASV Pros just because that's how I wanted my boot. I also got to pick what material was around my ankle. I also got to design my tongue. These ain't obviously the retail pair of ASV Pro tongues but personally I didn't like them anyway. They looked a little bit like a V and just very uncomfortable. But if you can see, I've got a little bit of extra pad in there on my tongue, whereas this one doesn't. This one's just a normal regular tongue. And for me, that makes a big difference. Blocking a shot in the tongue, oh. But with these boots, you don't even feel it. And for me, the main difference and one thing you can really feel on the ice is how stiff the boot is. My, my custom boots are still as stiff as a brand new pair of skates and these ones just ain't and I haven't even used these very off, very much. There's just, I mean it's a no brainer getting a pair of these if you can. Now just quickly summarizing in terms of who custom is going to be for. If you're the type of player that has any defects with your foot and you've had not perfect experiences going for a retail pair of skates versus what you get with custom, that's kind of gonna be the first kind of step that you might wanna consider taking. If you don't have a good experience in a retail skate because of the shape of your foot, custom is obviously gonna be a much better experience because the skate, I've said it millions of times in the video, is built around a mold of your foot so it is a perfect fit. Aside from that, it's gonna be the ability for a player like Tommy who doesn't necessarily have major fit issues. He did make some changes to the um, position that the ankle padding rests on his ankle based on the shape of his foot. But more so than that, it's gonna be the ability that he has to change the height of the boot, whether he wants the boot to be asymmetrical, whether he wants to increase the level of stiffness by adding uh, composite material to the structure of the boot so he has a stiffer skate than what you'd get with a retail skate. And in addition to that, it's gonna be the adaptation of the different tongues, the tendons to be able to have a more protective and comfortable skate on the ice because he plays a lot. Those are gonna be the things that you need to consider if you're trying to figure out if a custom skate or a retail skate is worthwhile. Now, of course, if money is no object and you just wanna be able to select exactly how a skate looks, then custom is gonna be the next solution for yourselves as well. Those are kind of the categories that I would base my decision on if you're thinking about going custom versus retail. 
As always guys, a big thank you for watching this video all the way to the end. If you want more information on these skates or you want us to film any other videos or additional videos, comment down below, let me know what you want to see. And also let me know what you prefer. Do you prefer the look that I've gone for with my custom ASV Pros? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Do you like the look that I've gone for with my custom ASV Pros or do you prefer the retail look? Or of course, do you prefer Tommy's look to his skates? Comment down below and let me know which ones you prefer the look of. But thank you for watching guys and take care till next time. Welcome to <laughs>